Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Chee Bear's Off Road Ways, our homestead in the desert. And yes, it's the day. Today is the day. It uh, only got up to 99 degree degrees today, so I took advantage of the 80 degree temperatures this morning and got out here and moved things over. So it's still all connected to the 12 volt system, but I got the Sun Gold Power all in one up here in place. Now this is a 6.8 uh, kilowatt, and uh, I noticed a few difference from the um, 8Ks that I installed, and that is, first of all, these connectors and these connectors are all up front now. They were all the way in the back on the uh, on the 10K that I did, so. Um, it's a lot easier to get to them where they are here. It's, you don't have to bang your knuckles against the back of the box to try to get the wires into place. Also, before I even brought it in here, I laid it down on that shelf right there with the top facing up so that I could see inside of each one. And then I got my number one Phillips out and I backed out all of the screws so that all of the openings at the bottom, which should handle up to a six gauge wire, um, all the openings are all um, fully open. So I won't be poking a, blindly poking a wire up in there and going, what's it hitting? God dang it. And I should be able to just put the wire in there and shoot the screw down and uh, that'll be it. Now, on PV1 and PV2, normally I would have a switch um, with a, a breaker on it underneath here. But, guess what? Sun Gold Power thought of that. So they put a switch right underneath here, a little rocker switch. That's what those wires are right there. And those are the uh, to shut off the PV. So it's in the off position when it's pushed to the back and when they rock it forward it'll be in the on position. And I'll verify that by looking underneath there because I'm about to pull this out of here. But uh, in order to do that I gotta shut my power down. And at the same time I need to rewire and re uh, rearrange these batteries. So I gotta flip two of them around so that the positives are on this end and then it'll be easier for me to wire them in series they're in parallel right now and this uh, system right here will be coming out I won't need that on here anymore because this system has um, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so I'll be able to use this thing to do what that does <coughs> excuse me so, I'm about to do that, but I had to upload my short video for the Tell All Thursday to reveal what yesterday's tool was in the What Is It Wednesday. And uh, that's uploading right now. It should be uploaded. So I'm going to pause this and get back to work here. i got to shut everything down. I, uh, my, I added a um, main battery switch in right there. So I can cut off the power to the batteries if I have to without having to do any other weird stuff. It's just an easy flick of the switch. So for right now I'm going to leave the batteries up here. I'm just going to reverse two of them. But once I take all this stuff out I am going to extend that shelf across the bottom here and then I will put all those batteries directly below the all-in-one. So for right now these wires are going to be reaching across like this to make connection and I don't like that so don't this stuff will all end up down there where I can uh, have the wires going straight down the wall and clean this up a little bit. Alright so the rover is still connected also but um, I'm going to be doing some modifications on the wiring coming in for the solar panels because those two black wires up there that come in, it's a, a positive and negative, 
Those are coming from my 305 watt panels, the six of them out there. And those are right now in series parallel. They're going to be switched over to series. So I will be going outside and doing some modifications. Now you notice I got extra wires connected up to those coming out. That's because I'm powering, um, or I'm bringing in some 100 watt panels also that are going into the bus bars that we're all feeding the system all by uh, combination. So I'm going to be ending that right now. I'm at full charge. I'm at 14.6 volts in the batteries. And that's going to change because now I'm going to be going to 48 volts. So everything's going to be shut down, disconnected, and then I'm going to start rewiring everything. And then I'll get back to you. So stand by everybody. This is going to be an interesting video tonight. Okay everybody, I'm back. Long day. I got everything hooked up here and I'm powering in. I had to do a few little uh, jerry rigs, but that's okay. It's working. I got power for the night. So anyway, this is 200 volts on PV1 right here coming in on that one set of 305 watt panels. Now when I hook up PV2, it'll go 200 from here and then on that, that one, that be PV2, and it'll show what I've got on that. So, everything seems to be running just perfect right now. 53.3 volts in the battery, charging. I am charging here. And I've got the AC is going into the house, so I've got power in the house. And the only thing is, I only had number four wire, and... I actually need number six but these are too big so I had to trim a few strands off of the wires to fit them in and they're not up like they should be all the way in I worked them as tight as I could and then locked the screws down but it'll work for the night and I'll get to it uh, when I go to town tomorrow I'll pick up some number six looks like I need six feet of it and I want a J box down here for all of these connections, the wire nut connections to be inside of a J box. So I'll pick one of those up while I'm at it. The, of course the rover is still working. Um, I didn't disconnect it, but the Midnight Classic is disconnected. There's no wires in it. And that's going to end up, I'm going to experiment with it on my turbine. You see if my turbine will put enough electricity out to charge 48 volt system. And if it does and it goes through there, I can control it so it doesn't fluctuate so much and cause the batteries to go nuts uh, on the BMS with the uh, power surges. So if you get those power surges from your turbine, it'll shut down the BMS, which it kind of defeats the whole purpose, right? So that's that now originally on the last video i said there's a switch under here a rocket switch and i thought it was for shutting off the pv because underneath it says pv right by the switch but that switch actually shuts the whole system down okay that just disconnects everything just shuts the whole system down so i will be putting in uh, pv breaker switches down here on the wall when I get ready to clean this all up and do some adjustments. And the only thing I got left to do before I go in is I'm going to hook up the um, the Wi-Fi so that I can get my connections inside the house and see what's going on out here without having to come out. So that'll be my uh, play stuff for tonight, playing with the new app. So I've disconnected the um, the Victron and I'll use that on something else and uh, go from there so I'm thinking that I'm gonna take this battery out this is the one that runs all the just the lighting in the, in there now when I put a shelf in here I'll put the 200 amp hour battery down at the bottom and then um, this one will I'll either sell it or 
uh, use it for something like, like the RV or something like that or maybe even in the garage or the shop run a small system in there so I can run fans all day without having to use my uh, power from the, the cabin out in there while I'm running air conditioning out here cool huh so I'm gonna monitor this and I'll let you know tomorrow how things went so I am happy it's up and running um, I can't say enough for watt cycle and sun gold power the two make a good team they really do this is G bear reminding you thumbs up hit that thumbs up don't forget to subscribe subscribe subscribing is free if you hit the wrong button and you hit join join will take you to uh, joining with a paid membership so that you'll have to make a monthly commitment for that one but if you just use the subscribe button it should give you a bell icon you hit the bell icon and you're notified when I post a new video that's all there is to it everybody I want to thank you all for joining me this is G Bear signing off